In Surah Al-A'la, one of the lessons that Allah draws our attention to is the disposition of faith, the disposition of belief. It's not just uh, something where we accumulate evidence and once we hit enough evidence, then people believe. It's a disposition of the heart. It's an orientation of the soul. And so he says that for a certain person, that has this orientation, then they're going to be reminded. They're going to accept the reminder, right? So yeah, the person who fears will be reminded. The person who wants to do right will find the way to do right, will be guided to the way to do right. right? The person who's going to um, stay away from it, they're staying away from it due to their orientation on the inside. They don't want to hear it, right? So they're going to stay away from it entirely. And so this is a baseline responsibility that every single person has, no matter what their religion, no matter what their beliefs, every single person has a responsibility to take care of their heart and position themselves in a way to receive guidance if it comes. And people can't complain. They don't have any room to complain if they've buried it, as Allah says in Surah Shams, they've buried it, they've buried it, they've buried it, they've neglected it. They've lo- the muscle of belief has atrophied, right? It doesn't work anymore. And then the signs come and the signs come and you can't believe because you've let that go. You've neglected it too much. That's the disposition that we're talking about. There's somebody who cultivates themselves so that they're ready to believe. And then once a little bit of, even a little bit of guidance comes, the light goes on. They say, ah, oh, this is it. And then they follow it. So everybody has a responsibility to take care of that sort of faculty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him or her. You have to maintain your heart. You have to keep your heart open to following guidance. And if you do, Allah is going to reward you by guiding you eventually.